Hey everyone, it's Carlton, and today I've got a bit of a unique video for you. I'm not really giving a tour of this ship, per se, because this ship, as you can see inside, there's not really anything in it. It's far from completed, and I'm actually going to end up be, uh, scrapping this ship. So, before I got rid of it, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what was going to happen because it does have the hole and it's got some things on the inside that I wanted to show off so I'm gonna go ahead and just fly over the exterior real quick and then head to the couple spots in the interior now what the ship was going to be is it was gonna come after the onyx and it was gonna be a much larger ship as you can see by the size of it and it was going to be, uh, the reason I wanted to build a ship this big is just so I had room to put all kinds of unique things in it, but it ended up the, the size of this thing is actually so big. It, first of all, it was just, I don't know, just a lot of space to fill in and a lot of it would have ended up being staterooms. So that was one reason I decided to uh, go ahead and get rid of it. Also, it's... Um, when I built the Aurora, I kind of changed my building style a little bit, and this ship doesn't really fit in with that new kind of style, and I could go and modify it to act uh, or look a little bit more like that, but it would have been so much work to go and try to modify this ship. Just better off getting rid of it and going and starting fresh and I probably will build a ship that's large like this at some point but won't be this big because this one is a little bit too large, a little bit too tall and a little bit well, a little bit too big in every dimension but I'm still gonna try to build a big ship that's open like this like the Oasis of the, Ste the, Oasis of the Sea style that's open in the middle but um, that's gonna go ahead and come later I'm probably going to use, once I get rid of this ship, I'm probably going to use the spot here. I'm either going to build probably the um, Royal Caribbean's Enchantment of the Seas, or I may go build another custom cruise ship. Uh, it seems like a lot of people like my Majesty of the Seas video though, so I'm probably going to be building the Enchantment next. Now, I'm going to go ahead and stop in. This is one part that was done. This is the dining room. And this dining room actually inspired the dining room that's on the Aurora because it's got the uh, prismarine and the dark wood. You see it's got the clock there like the Aurora. It's also got this little waterfall here. You can see it's a massive dining room. It's got four levels to it. This is a giant ceiling right here. And this big raised platform in the middle with the captain's table in the middle. And you can see there's actually only two entrances to it. You've got the upper entrance for the balcony level, and you've got this lower entrance for the middle three levels. And what you do is you come in, you either go down the stairs here, or you go on this level, or you go up the stairs up to this level. So that way, uh, since I was building a dining room this big, I didn't want to have four separate entrances to it. and this whole middle area was actually going to be two decks tall. The uh, starting to build some shops over there, and those are going to be two decks tall, and so it's going to be a big, wide open area. But yeah, I decided not to continue with it. So that's about all that's there. I'm going to head up to the front because another thing that I did finish was the solarium, and that came out pretty nice fly over here you can actually see they got the pools there. Now the solarium is a very unique design. I haven't built anything like this before. So you see it's got this uh, it's got this stone here and it's got actual sand here. It's like a beach. It drops off. You go in the water. You got all kinds of plants around and you've got these elevated hot tubs here that are in between the two levels and you've got the upper level up here and on either side of the pool you've got these uh, stairs that go up to the bar up front and you've just got all kinds of lounge areas around the sides so that's about 
all there is to this. It's just pretty much a shell. So, but I am going to be building another ship and I need the space. So, this thing's got to go. So, got a little bit of a, a surprise going on with this thing. Let's go ahead and see how well this works. Quite a lot of lag there. Seems like it might be done at this point. And yeah, not a whole lot left. Uh, this doesn't look like it's going to be the most fun to clean up, but you got to do what you got to do. Got to make some space. So hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned if you want to see the ship that's gonna come and take a <laughs> fill in all these random floating blocks